getting close to Thanksgiving. And what happens in Thanksgiving? <gasps> Irritations. This is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries. I'm giving you your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. I'm giving an invitation today. You see, during Thanksgiving, don't you have a reflection somewhere in your memories about how it kind of felt like it was a slow strangulation, a building up of angst? Well, I'm telling you that this Thanksgiving doesn't have to be that way at all. Oh yeah, I am serious. The thing is, is that living out the gospel means we take a position of doing what love requires. You've listened to me before and know that that's it, but also a desire on your heart with a discipline that I'm going to be unmoved by the little things. Well, let me say it again. I am going to be unmoved by the little things. Otherwise, you begin to feel trapped, a slow backing into the corner, like, I can't take it anymore. Now, what am I going to do? You begin to compare yourself, and you start to back into the corner. See how I'm backing myself in the corner? This is a special effect. <laughs> Backed into the corner. But I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be that way at all. Oh, I am so serious. There's probably been since uh, my mom and Pierre came, probably about 30 to 40 things. Not with, just with them, but like with my kids, with things I want to do. I'm getting ready to travel, so I want to have all of my Christmas ready and wrapped before I leave in two weeks. So there could be, if I let it, an angst. But this video, this recording is about your daily dose. That means a dosage, like as if you're going to take medicine, of spiritual oxygen. You don't have to be moved at all. That's a decision in your free will. That is a free will decision to stay with joy and with this steady stream of not being moved. For example, I, I looked at the coffee pot when I got back from my mor some morning errands. See that? That's supposed to be filled <laughs> with coffee for my mom when she gets up. Is it? No. Also, now my boys have, we all have a routine. You can see the routine is actually right behind me. My kids know the routine on odd weeks and even weeks about feeding the dog or walking the dog, about cleaning the kitchen, about doing various things so that the work around the house is delegated. They learn a lifestyle of how to take care of a house. And that's that's the point. Uh, many times they say, it's unfair. I have to do more. I have to do less. And these are adult children. <laughs> Two of my boys are still at home. Unmoved. Oh, yeah. Steady stream. Oh, yeah. Because before all this happened, I decided that I was going to be unmoved. And so this is the decision I've made. The rest of the kitchen, not completely done the way we tend to do it. But you know what? A decision on my part to be unmoved is where I'm at. No matter what's happening, a steady stream of deciding for joy. I'm going to decide for joy. And I'm inviting you today to decide for joy that the little things are not worth having your heart being moved for this gift of breath, this gift of a heartbeat, this gift of family, this gift of enough food to eat, this gift of warmth in a cold environment. So many gifts. That's how we defeat the enemy who tries to get us anxious and uncomfortable in the environment. Yesterday, mom and Pierre sat in these two chairs for about 10 hours. And 
I was, I was waiting on them with, with hot tea, something to eat. I even put out some um, albums. I want you to see this. See that? That's a setup for my mom to enjoy her space while she's here sitting. I'm just showing you those things because I'm cre deciding to create the environment to be unmoved and enjoy. Enjoy, enjoying the connection, whatever it looks like, because it's either anointed and appointed or it's permitted by God to be here. And I wanna come into agreement with his heart and bless what he's blessing, which is this amazing time of connection. So this has been Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. This has been from my heart to yours. Keep living faithfully one moment at a time, okay? Take care. God bless. Click like, subscribe, and that little tiny notification button. And I'll be able to share some more with you about doing what love requires for your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. Take care. God bless.